the, the decal doesn't fit the way we cut it. So let's go straight to what went wrong with this project. Here on the screen, you have two different samples. The one on the left is the actual image that I used and downloaded from Google. And the one on the right hand side is the van that we worked on. You don't have to be Einstein to see that they are different models. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to notice the difference. Now, I don't want to point fingers or blame someone else because I got to admit that this was my own responsibility. Unfortunately, our customer wasn't able to send us any images of the van that we could actually use. So that's one of the reasons why I went and downloaded this image from the Internet. But like I said, I got to take full responsibility because when our customer brought the van to us, I should have noticed. And here in the images, I highlighted with yellow color so you can see the difference in the two different models. You can clearly see the one on the left side is a little bit taller than the one on the right. Unfortunately, when cutting the vinyl, I used the sizes for the one on the left side. So all the decals came out bigger than they should have. If you want to learn more of what happened and how we fixed this, make sure you watch the video until the end because we're going to explain a little bit more. Also, make sure you give us a like and subscribe if you haven't done it yet. Also, you can get your materials and equipment in the description of the video. We have several links. Thank you so much. So this will be the band we'll be working on. On this side, we have a combination of metal, glass. So the idea, we're going to do blue and red. And for this side, we're going to do the uh, the services and they will be all with white vinyl so they can uh, so people can see the sign from far away and here on the back mainly will be red and white for this project we're going to use this vinyl the oracle 651 and the kind of vinyl cutter we'll be using will be our graphic ce 6060 and it's a 24 inch vinyl cutter same uh, with the vinyl and let me show you how we uh, have our design here in our computer this is the image that i found on the internet and it works so i just measure it from starting from this line here all the way to the left side here i mean to the right side this is the first section that i'm going to be sending right now total uh, size is 82 inches by 22 so we have like an inch on each side like on uh, on top and at the bottom and now i'm ready to send this section obviously the first thing i did before i sent it i aligned the vinyl as you have seen it in several videos that's the first thing you gotta do although this is not the longest decal 82 inches long and right now we're just going to wait for it to be done after that we're going to start waiting out and i guess it's time to go get a cup of coffee in the meantime that's exactly what Nacho is doing right now <laughs> this will be the other color that we're going to use the red color and the transfer is going to be our usual the art tape at 75.1 all right, so our first section is ready and look at the size of it, not too bad. We got to cut another one just like this, actually half because um, on one side, remember, it's going to be white instead of blue. So that's why it's going to be just half of this. All right, so it's time to start waiting out. They're going to start with this section, the only section that we have ready. In fact, we're waiting, we're still waiting on the, uh, the graphic. But in the meantime, they're going to go ahead and start with this section here. And this is the bottom waiting box that i added manually as i said it it's a lot easier better when you do it manually because you tell it where to go right now we're currently working on something for uh, the prices and all that stuff so make sure you stay tuned we'll give you more updates about it once um, everything's ready to go and uh, right now I'm about to show you and uh, I mean you don't have to agree with us we could have saved this section here we just don't really want to waste time saving that section over here because I mean we could have probably added this uh, separately and uh, put it about here and save this bottom section 
but it's gonna take a lot longer and we have to record for this channel plus we also have the the one in spanish we also have tiktok so we have a lot of things going on and we don't have the luxury to uh, be saving all those little pieces and uh, yeah wasting a lot of time and that's the reason we do it like this uh, again this does not apply to every person i know that um for some people it makes sense to save it especially when you are just getting started it makes sense to save a lot of pieces to practice with but for us, it is not worth our time. And we got my mom helping us today. <laughs> yeah, we got a fourth person. This will make a lot of people mad. You know, how many people does it take to work on this project? Having three people was already pissing some people off. Imagine having a fourth person. <laughs> Now it's time to start applying our transfer tape. Hold on, they missed the right. Of course, since we got plenty of hands, we're not gonna use our tape application rollers. Each layer, we're gonna combine them right on the spot. Sometimes we do combine them before we apply them on the on our vehicles, but not this time. The weather is kind of nice, so we could use rapid tag if we decide to apply some of that, or we could do a dry application. I guess we'll find out soon enough. We try to avoid getting any wrinkles on our decals. That makes it a lot easier when applying the vinyl. And luckily for this section, we didn't get any of them. We finally finished applying all the transfer to our decals. And this is all the vinyl that we used. This is gonna clean the surface using rapid tag. You can also use just water or a combination in a bottle you can Put about 90% water, 10% alcohol, rubbing alcohol, and just a few drops of soap, and that'll do the trick. As you can clearly see here in the video, the decal didn't fit. The way we fixed this, we detached the phone number. We tried to use the same one. Unfortunately, it wouldn't fit, and we had to make it a little bit smaller. Everything else we left the way it was, at least for this section of the decal. We're going to use our magnets to hold the sticker in place and we'll also use our cutting knife. We're going to do it like we usually do from the center to the bottom. See, that's why, you know, like not many people want to be their own boss because it's not the same as being an employee. If you're an employee, you don't have to deal with this kind of stuff. Your boss has to take care of that. I'm talking about like certain challenges, but I guess that's why being a business owner is not for everyone. But since we love the challenge, I'm not going to worry too much about this. My side, uh, the transfer is wrinkling a little bit, but there's no vinyl on my side. So I don't really have to worry about this side here. I'm still gonna apply it to the surface. We're doing a dry application for the next color. We're gonna do a uh, probably use some rapid tag since we changed the way we're gonna apply the decal. Again, I messed it up, it's not the first time. <laughs> right now, it's really, really hot. Like, how hot is it? Like, probably 90, 90 close to 90 degrees. So I'm just going to be really careful the way I apply this section. If we need to change to using the rapid tag, we can do that, no problem. It's sitting right next to us. And I'm gonna try to start from the center, like here, and then send all the uh, tension to the sides. 
so it doesn't wrinkle in the center. So far, so good. I'm just doing it slowly, taking my time. There's no need to hurry. And this is gonna start by removing that side of the, the transfer. I think there's one bubble. Oh, never mind. Oh yeah, he can just get rid of that by pressing just pull on it, it. With, with the finger. Yeah. And I, besides that, I don't really see many bubbles or I guess we'll find out in the end, but good so far. For being dry application, I don't, I don't see any. So it looks good. Now this next section, we're gonna do this on purpose. Actually, we're gonna do a um, wet application. We're gonna cover it with enough rapid tag. There's gonna be a little gap. We're not gonna do it 100%. And you're about to see what I mean by that. Like probably like that. So we have we can enough. Probably go on top of where. I think we should go. We can probably go yeah. next to the uh, the. Yeah. That. We're gonna. We're trying to leave some um, like uh, enough space. Like I said, uh, we had to change this a little bit because uh, the design came out a little bit bigger than it should. But it's not a big deal. Now we can just get rid of all the rapid tag and then apply our phone number. This is why we love, uh, we prefer hot weather because it's easier to work and maneuver at the same time. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and start removing the transfer. And this is the reason why we use Rapid Tag. As you saw in the video, we repositioned it, we aligned it um, just by looking at the registration marks. We had to improvise a little bit. This section here, we're gonna do the service of the interior and exterior part and since it's really hot right now our decal is uh, getting a lot of wrinkles we're gonna try to hurry and apply it and we divided it in different sections to make it a lot easier this is what i meant the vinyl uh, not the vinyl it's just usually the transfer that wrinkles like that but everything will be fine and basically we're gonna do the same i'll be back in a few All right, so we're going to repeat the same steps, cut it in different sections to make it a lot easier. And we're going to keep on doing a dry application and it looks, <laughs> our decal looks in really bad shape. It looks, uh, it's getting a lot of wrinkles because of the, the heat. For this side, we face the same challenges and the way we fixed this was by detaching the interior and exterior section and we moved them down a little bit. That's the only thing that changed. So that's part of the decal was a little bit closer to the services, but no big deal. This project definitely has been giving us some challenges. Usually most projects like always something comes up but this one has been <laughs> several challenges but like like we said uh, as long as it can be fixed there's no need to worry about about it basically and that's simple yeah we just removed it uh peeled it off and applied some of that rapid tag and see it's gonna not dry out even if it's glass but uh the problem when you like like when it has a transfer that's when it takes longer to dry out because it's not directly to the vinyl but since we already removed the the transfer you can add as much as you want i mean we're directly in the sun so yep it's right the next thing we gotta do here we gotta cut the decal from this side here luis is gonna show you how he's gonna do it and after that i'm gonna show you something the decal looks a little bit crooked but it's because of the the windows how they um, I guess the the model of the vehicle, I'll show you that from a distance in a few minutes. But this is how Luis is gonna cut. First, what I like to do is like put some pressure, like kind of like uh, mark where you're gonna cut and try to pick the center. So you have plenty of vinyl that you can insert from the, like to the inside of the, the decal. and. But just like that. here, I don't know if you can see the letter E, 
I don't have to cut through it. I just uh, went to the right. So that way we can just, you know, stick our yeah. fingers inside. And, and I think it's the same with the, the, the little. Yeah, the slash. Or yeah, there's no need to cut it. Yeah. There we go. So basically just the letter, the L, letter L is the only one that was affected by this. Now it's time to remove the transfer. And after that, we'll open the door and just try to apply the vinyl from the inside. And always remember when you cut, like I did, always start from the, the opposite side. So that way you see what I mean. Yeah, when he's talking about when removing the transfer, always do the opposite, like, yeah, like to this. this side. So yep. that way, let's see if it's open. It's not, but we can use we can, the squeaky. Yep. See, that easy. But I mean, we still gotta open the door. Gotta make sure that we do it right. So this side is completely done. This is all we had to do on this side. Now we gotta do the other side and the back. But this is what I was talking about. You see the window, how like from this side is a little bit shorter, like the distance from this side. And then as you go here to the right, it gets a little bit taller and taller. And that's why this section of the decal, where Nacho is right here, it looks a little bit crooked, but in the end we decided to use that line, the straight line here. Like if we would have used the bottom line, then it would look crooked from the top. Luckily for the back, our decal didn't have to be modified. We just left it the way it was. And for the driver's side, basically we faced the same challenges, but we managed. All right, guys, we finally finished with this project. It was a real challenge. And this side here, the phone number, we had to make it a little bit smaller. Again, just avoid making the mistake that I made. I should have followed my own advice, but you know, again, things like this can happen and uh, there's always gonna be a challenge in this type of business. And this is the back side of the vehicle. Now let's go to the other side. Usually these vents are a real challenge aligning the the decals like no matter where you see it what which angle you look at them you will always see that the decals look a little bit crooked but we did the best we could we try to use a straight line which and on this side was this here and then the front we use the top and we always check that we always like um, stay at a certain distance and look from far away and try to find the best angle to align our decals the tool I talked about in the video is a calculator that we use to get an idea of how much we should charge for each project. It also gives us an idea of how much money we invest per project and the profits. If you guys want to learn more about this tool, make sure you watch the next video or at the end of the screen, click on the left side and it'll take you straight to that video. Or just go straight to the join button and you will get different options for memberships. Make sure you select the RDI Gold membership to be able to use this tool. If you guys want to support us, make sure you give us a like, subscribe if you haven't done it yet. Also, make sure you get your materials and equipment through the links in the description of the video. Thank you so much and see you guys until the next one.